talking about 6G earlier, which is around 20, 2030. I would say that by then, definitely the smartphone as we know it today will not anymore be, be the usual kind of the most common interface. Wow. This, this, many of these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. You're okay. Are you okay? I am. I really am. I'm fine. Honestly, I swear I'm fine. There. If you can let that breathe for ten minutes, all looking good. I'll come back and I'll dress them. Do you see? These are interaction nodes. If I use this finger, I can open all the doors at work, no ID. And if I just scan this in a shop, I can pay for anything up to a thousand pounds. And look, Dad, Mom, I've just taken your photo. Send and send. It doesn't need the sound effect. I just added back because it makes me laugh. You promised me they wouldn't touch your eyes. Not after last time. That was years ago. Grant's had stem cells in her eyes since then. I can't help thinking... Don't laugh. All these power cuts. <laughs> well, what would happen to you? Nothing. What happens to you in a power cut? Nothing. <laughs> so, what about your head? Can't feel a thing. They inserted the tiniest wafer into my brain. And... Oh, my God. Look at the result. Sync us up. No keyboard. I don't need a keyboard ever again. You did that by thinking? It can't read my mind. Not yet, but the wafer tracks activity in the neural pathway and micro-movements in the retina to predict what I'm thinking. But that is reading your mind. So why do you need the operation? I'm trying to explain it in ways you can understand, but the connection is so much more. While we were talking, at exactly the same time, I wondered about the 80 days of brain, where it came from, why it was, what comes next. And I keyed into satellites just 30 seconds ago, so I can see the course of El Nino, and I can tap into pressure sensors along the Atlantic coast and barometric readings from the ships at sea. If I put all of that together, I'm there. I'm inside it, the tide, the depth of the sea, and the curl of the waves within me. And right now in Charles Street, Pasadena, a 15-year-old girl called Ethany Cross has written her first song and put it online, and oh, she's got the sweetest voice. So when I combine all of that, it's joy. In my head, it is absolute joy. 